Although some people say the tank is dead, that is not true. The British Army took delivery of 386 Challenger IIs. These were built by Vickers Defence Systems at Newcastle, Fontaine and Leeds. It is expected that 227 will go th through a programme called the Life Extension Programme. The aim of the Challenger II LEP is to extend the life of the vehicle out to about 2035. And the MOD, unlike other countries in Europe, is having a competition and a number of contractors are bidding for that. One of them is BA Systems and they have teamed with General Dynamics who are prime contractor for the Ajax Reconnaissance Vehicle. The aim of LEP is to really replace some of the obsolete systems in the turret. For example, the night vision equipment is now some 30 years old so that needs to be replaced. Some of the electronics is very old. And what this team is doing is bringing some of the technology from Ajax, which is used by the Armour Corps, into the Challenger 2. So that includes things like flat screens. At the moment it still retains the 120mm rifled gun. If there was enough money, it might be nice to put a smoothbore gun in, a 120, or well, that will give you ammunition commonality with many NATO countries. The bids are in for the Challenger 2 lap and later this year it's expected that two contractors will be down selected for the assessment phase and under the assessment phase each contractor will be given two tanks to do some work and then will down select to one contractor who will be after the usual negotiations will be awarded the contract. At the present time we're still talking about 227 Challenger 2s but as the British Army force structure changes it could well go down. I think it's interesting to see what's happened in France and Germany. In France, the prime contractor of the upgrade is next to system. They designed it. In Germany, the prime contractor of the Leopard 2 upgrade is Krauss-Maffei Wegman. They designed it. The UK has taken a different approach. And while BA Systems, who, who are the original equipment manufacturer, a number of other contractors are also bidding, some of them who have no experience in main battle tanks upgrades at all. So it remains to be seen how this programme progresses. Whatever happens, the Challenger 2 will form a major part of the British Army through to 2035.